to send all them hoes to the rehab. Where am I? They looking for the boy, young SOD money gang boss. I'm on my motherfucking grind. If you talking on my shine, I'm like a star. I'm in my car, I'm in your car, I'm on the net. What I do next, I'm gonna flex and get my text. I'm on the Yo, man. That face off was crazy, man. It was super crazy, man. Got me real excited, man. Cass versus Arch, man. October 6th, man. I believe history gonna be made, man. I'ma keep saying it over and over again. Definitely should have had Enes on that card, but as far as the face off, man, it was crazy, man. I would say as far as because it's just the part one is really out there. I would say I would say Cash won that most definitely, man. But I'ma keep 100% honest. I feel like I, don't, I feel like Cash shouldn't have brought up the part. Like when you see Cash when they first sit down, Cash gonna be like. When um, well, you know the 15 minutes of fame do whatever he gonna when he get to talking, cats gonna cut him off. Talking about I can't smoke, I don't. They gonna light us to smoke, and he asked the dude, do you smoke cigarettes? And it was just like the whole conversation was like what it. And then he even asked Ars, he asked Ars, do you smoke or nothing? Ars just straight up ignored him, gave him the silent treatment. It was just kind of weird. And do and then do them uh, the uh, mediator or whatever that you know the, the 15 minutes fame do he had to tell him like um. Like, why are we even talking about that? Well, let's get back to this battle October 6th and stuff. So, I, I don't know why Cass even brought that up, but he must really want to hit that blunt in that building. He thought he would be able to hit that blunt up in there. Turns out that he couldn't because he, he brought it up. It, it really was a big thing to him, but I felt like he shouldn't have mentioned that. But as the face all go on and shit, Arsenal is just quiet. He ain't say one word. He just got his hands in his um tight ass coat. He got a coat. I don't know how cold it is where they at, but... I didn't think it was that cold, but he, he had his hands in his pocket the whole time, not saying a word. And then Cass get to talking and shit. Ars just bust out, talking about I ain't said nothing, talking about he can suck my, all of that, all that y'all know. He said it about a hundred times, and then Cass went back with it, going back with the fourth. Suck this, suck that. I, then Cass flipped it, was like, I can really get some, you know, one of your sisters and baby, all of that. That's what, and that's what pretty much, it got real personal after that. Nothing more about the bar. It was like Cass was trying to keep it about the bars at first, but ours it was just came with straight disrespect, so you kind of really even go to, can't even go to bars after that. But, man, I, I be looking at everything, though, man. Body language and all that. You really just look, man. I feel like, you know, ours with the, when I first found out about this, um, this face-off, ours posted it on, you know, whatever. Talking about Cass was nervous. Uh, I didn't see nervous. You can definitely see like he was agitated that he couldn't smoke or something. He had like his phone and like some t like a tissue on the table that he was wiping his nose with or whatever. I don't even know what that was about. But I want to say he was nervous. It was like once to the point like ours brought it to that disrespect. It was like things just heated up, you know. And you know, and Cass definitely matched the disrespect right back at him. So, if for all the people that thought that he's just going to sit back there, and it's kind of saying like Arsh had that plan, like he's just going to stay quiet the whole time, tell Cass, and, and invite Cass to the genital area, and then just sit back, and, and, and Cass wasn't like going to say nothing after that. But no, Cass matched his disrespect right back with disrespect. And then it just pretty much turned out who can disrespect a little bit more than the other and stuff. And Arsenal wasn't really saying nothing clever, so that's why I say Cash won. The way Cash started it off, I thought he would have lost the uh, the face off because he was talking about like smoking and asking them, do they smoke? Do you smoke cigarettes? I, don't, I felt like that didn't matter for the battle. That's something. And he brought it up twice apparently because he was like, I'm gonna bring it up again. I felt like it was that wasn't really a big enough issue to bring up in there. So he definitely, to me, lost that part of it. And I thought Arch could have definitely won the face off. But as the face off goes and Cash trying to keep it bars, all Arch is saying is the same shit over and over again. I don't know. And Cash kind of flipped it on him, like, because Arch was like, I've been quiet this whole time. I ain't had to say nothing. And Cash was like, uh, yeah, because a lot of niggas get quiet in front of me. So it was kind of like, it made it look, made him kind of look stupid. And then he ain't really have much to say. But that's for that part one, though, man. But I would say Cash won. He didn't look nervous. 
You know, niggas need they they, they smoke that they they weed, bro. Niggas, you know, niggas smoke weed. You find out you can't smoke somewhere at the last minute. You get your blunt planned or whatever you got planned. Most likely, with cash, it was a blunt. But I'ma hit this right there when I get up there or whatever. Here when I get up there, and you find out last minute that you can't do that. It kind of it kind of fucks you up a little bit, man. Everybody else can do what they want to do. If somebody wants to smoke cigs, or they can, st- you know what I'm saying? They can do this or drink whatever, pop a bill. That's a whole nother thing, though, with weed smokers, though. But that's what it was with Cass. He was not nervous, but he definitely didn't have to bring that up. So he, I, he, I get him the, sl- the definitely he still get the edge over because Arsenal didn't think of anything to say but the same thing over and over again. But the battle gonna be crazy October 6th, man. Facts. But yo, man. E Ness, man. E Ness, man. Mr. Swamp Vision, man. He should have definitely been on this card, man. He should have definitely been on a lockdown card, man. Smack. Was this the first time they in Philly? And E Ness is not on the card, man. That's crazy. I just don't understand that, man. E Ness should have definitely been on that. He a Philly legend, man. A lot of people don't like to give him his credit and stuff, man. But E Ness been doing this thing for a long time, killing niggas, man. It's a few niggas on the lockdown card that he three old. Shotgun should being one of them niggas. Check that battle out. E Ness, man. He just he beat Jay Mills this year. He been he gonna fight a lot. He done battled damn near everybody since Mac first started, man. Holding it down for Philly, man. And when they all when they when they talk about the Philly legends, man, they never missing um, E Ness, man. Swamp Vision, man. The man, all of that, man. E Ness, man. He been holding it down for a long time, man. I don't know if Smack tried to get him on there, and they probably didn't like offer him enough or something. But man, it's just fucked up, man. If it, if that's the case, they should have paid him what he wanted, man, to get. Man, he should definitely been on that card, man. That would have been even more crazy, man. Cass, Reed. Eating ass all on the same car, that would have really been like the whole Philly versus New York thing they was talking about, man. That would have been crazy. Eating ass been doing this thing for, for since the since the bad boy days, since the reality T, since all of that, since he's definitely one of the pioneers, man. He he my um uh, my um my Rushmore a battle rap, that's for sure. That's that's a fact right there. Especially when it come to Philly, man, and him not being on this card. It's extra weird. How did they let that happen, man? But it is what it is, man. Eating that still one of the coldest out there, man. That's a fact, man. For real. That's a fact.